Hi, this is Justina and John again. Uh, we are partners of James Moore & Company and members of our real estate team. We are continuing with our discussion about the CARES Act and its effects on real estate industry. We previously explained the Qualified Improvement Property Rules and will now focus on the provisions related to net operating losses. John, could you um, explain the changes brought on by the CARES Act in that area? Absolutely. So I think the best way to think about this is to kind of take a history lesson on the tax law as it pertains to net operating losses. So a net operating loss is essentially when you have more deductions or losses than you have income. Um, and unfortunately, this happens um, sometimes for businesses when there's challenges, but also it happens as a result of tax planning. And so if you review our qualified improvement property, you can video, and I think Justina is going to talk more about it in a bit. Um, you can see where you can intentionally create these net operating losses. Um, so the law before 2018, so 2017 and prior, if you had a net operating loss, you could carry it back for two years and basically recoup taxes that you paid in those two years, or you could carry it forward for 20 years. So it was a, it was a way for you to be able to benefit from those losses and offset future taxes. When 2018 came around and they did the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, they changed the NOLs to basically no longer allow for losses to be carried back, but then allowed losses to be carried forward indefinitely and used at reduced rates. So you could only offset income up to a percentage. Um, you couldn't use the NOLs to offset all your total amount of income. Mm -hmm. So the CARES Act came in and basically removed that limitations so you can fully offset your income by a net operating loss and then it also allowed you to carry back your net operating losses from 2019 and 2020 back to um, five years so for a 2019 tax return if you had a net operating loss you can carry it back to 2014 and if you Pay, if you can absorb all your taxes that you paid in 2019 or 2014, you can carry it forward 2015, 2016, and so on, um, and then carry it forward after that. Um, so this is huge for clients because now you can actually take the losses, and, and we're expecting a lot of losses in 2020 due to the coronavirus. You can take those losses, carry it back, and recoup those taxes that were paid in the past. And I think, Justina, you want to talk through kind of what you saw as a result of 2019 and those changes with our clients. Yeah, so just bring up, uh, bring back the example I had before. I had a client who bought a building in 2018, and um, it was an office building, and they had to put quite significant improvements um, um, into the building. So the way the law stood in 2018, we weren't able to write off those improvements, and it was a significant amount of about $400,000. Um, the CARES Act uh, changed the rules regarding to interior improvements to commercial buildings, which um, you can um, listen to uh, us talking about it in our previous video. Um, so when the rules were changed, we were now allowed in 2019 to take that deduction that should have been allowed in 2018. So the improvements that were done to the interior of the building now qualified for immediate write-off. So taking $400,000 of bonus depreciation write-off created a loss for my client. Um, and it makes sense because the intent was to bring some more cash to the economy. So we were allowed to carry back that loss to, the, to 2018 when it was a pro profitable year and taxes were paid and recoup those taxes and, and get a refund. Yeah. So you were able to take and generate a deduction through a tax election, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then you were able to translate that tax deduction into cash because you were able to carry that back and, and then rebate basically taxes that were paid in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's huge. So that gave your client that I'm sure he needed the cash um, an opportunity to basically claw some of those taxes back. Um, Especially that 2018 was a pretty profitable year for him. So they were in a high tax bracket. So um, we were that loss was able to create quite a good, quite a nice refund. Right. So this, I think, like I said, this is a huge thing for the real estate industry, especially when you're coupling the net operating loss changes with the, the changes in depreciation or the opportunities for accelerated depreciation. So the next video, we're going to talk about another provision um, dealing with interest expense. So it's definitely not something you want to miss. Um, so thank you, guys.